fucking sky, you know? We're on our way to Lisbon. Just had to uh, refill the car with gas. And then, then we're heading our way again. Three hour, three hour flight, flight right? That's nice. Okay, so we just arrived here to the Lisbon. It's kind of a hotel slash apartment house thing. Casa Pescado. MTV Crips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got all the, the lounge area in here. The kitchen here. Got the toilet here. No, the, the sleeping room where the magic happens. <laughs> sleeping room. Let's go upstairs. It's a big upgrade from our Porto apartment. Okay, cozy. See what's going on there. We got my room here with the beautiful uh, circular window. Perfect for a little wank, huh? Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's so, so cozy being here. All right, so we're going out to eat now. It's so, our uh, eight month anniversary. So, yeah, we figured something cozy, nice dinner vibes. It's gonna be great. Okay, good morning from the streets of Lisbon. Today we're gonna go and do some thrifting as well as getting some, some good breakfast now. Breakfast was good. Uh -huh. It could have been a bit more minimalistic, a okay. bit more simple. But I'm not hating. I think it was pretty good. Also in uh, Porto, this where we just angle was, it's not angling. I think it was it was quite good. It was good, yeah, like, it was good for sure. It was a good an essay ball. Yeah. I like that. So now let's go thrifty. Got the the matcha. Do you guys like matcha or is it just me? If you ever want a, a blank T-shirt or like a, some good socks, anything like that, matcha is the go-to spot. The quality is insane, and the uh, the fit is also quite good. Sega's the color is also good. The gray I like that. looks nice on him and it doesn't matter the style the size like he can he's the type of person who can wear literally anything and it'll look Says good my girlfriend. but I, I, I'm, I promise you it's true <laughs> going to this ramen spot called Aitama it's supposed to be the the best ramen spot in in the whole Lisbon. Lisbon. Maybe Portugal. Oh. 
let's go. What do you think about the ramen? The ramen was, um, it was, we tried better because um, we okay, were in right? Tokyo <laughs> yeah. some months ago and now we can never eat ramen again because no. it was so good. But I mean, whenever you go to a new city, just get your lime bike or lime scooter and go see the, the city. It's a perfect yeah. way to explore. But that's it for today. So, good night. Good night. Okay, so we're going to the Humana Vintage Store now. It's kind of like an, uh, they have these like all over Lisbon and also Porto. They're kind of nice, you can fit, find some really hidden gems there. But let's see, maybe they have some good stuff now. Yeah, I love they, it. They have a lot of good jackets, especially leather jackets and yeah. coats for like nothing. Just went to the Louis store. I think it, I think you can really see that uh, Pharrell is just like walking in Virgil's footsteps. I don't like it as much. I think he's really like workwear inspired and like uh, it takes like a lot of Carhartt silhouettes and just like replicate them kind of. But uh, I like the alien glasses. I kind of like the speed bag and green, and uh, as well as, as some of the beanies are okay. But um, otherwise, I think the clothes. Kind of, yeah. I much more prefer the, the virtual. guys this is my wish list some keep in mind this is wish so some are going to be really unrealistic and so, some maybe more affordable and realistic okay for my first it's the virtual Ablo the multi pocket from my Louis Vuitton the first vest like the um, kind of knitted ripped vest I think it's so clean actually a fun fact I bought this piece back then when it came out yeah it was too yeah, it was too, too, too expensive, I thought at that time. Uh, I'm really sad that I didn't keep it actually now. But I want to get that someday, maybe. But keep in mind, this is like wish list. It's, it's super expensive now, secondhand. So for my next, the Rick Owens Beetle. Uh, I think you say Kai Club's boots. But the, these are extremely chunky, like really huge boots. So. I really want to get the, the suede version because I think it looks more like slim in some way. So for my third <laughs> third wish, it's the the Chromat's like wallet chain. Super sick, just like clean. If you if you to get one wallet chain, this is this is the wallet chain I would say. And uh, next wish is the Chromat's leather jacket but like the, the big boy chroma leather jacket like this is the the final bus of leather jacket with the Hermes linen and everything it's just like a super iconic piece I, I don't think I'm I'm there I don't dare to wear it if I had it there's some dogs in the backyard barking going crazy down there Okay, and then we got the the Celine 2018 Planet rubber boots. 
these are super thick. The only thing is that I, I think the largest size is size 42. So sadly, they don't make size 44 as I am. So yeah. And then my next wish, it's the Balenciaga Hummer boots. These are super thick. Playboy Cardi also had them in his last uh, video. I think was uh, Go to the Moon music video. Super nice. The little kind of like the little clownish silhouette it has. Super sick boot. For my next wish is the Yeezy pads. These I'm um, su super curious to style. Yes, I think also Bottega made some socks now. Like everybody is in Vietnam, also Balenciaga as well. There's a whole war who made these first, but I, I think it's like the the future style. Yeah. Then we got the cast bag, like you have seen, like everybody has now, but they made a new version, which is in leather. They made a black one and a brown one as well. For my next, this is a jacket by Daniel Lee for Bottega Veneta. I think it's one of his, his first seasons, kind of like a techy um, jacket. Yeah, I really like the side zips on it. And I tried this actually. I think it's in my uh, old uh, YouTube video shopping. 10,000 floors in Milan, I think it's called. For my next bag, it's the, the Emo, the Emo Banchaga large bag. This is super fucking sick. I really wanted this, but also wish, of course, but some fire, you can make some fire fit picks with this, for sure. I love the long strap, just like dress as well to like an all black fit or get your fit popping. Okay, then we got the Rig Owens Bosa boots. I already got these boots. But in fur and black, these are fucking crazy. I need these at some point. The only thing I don't like about these is like the, the glossy sole. I kind of wish it was matte as it is on the other ones. But anyways, then we got the Andy, uh, the oversized boot. I think they only made these like for uh, Essence exclusive. Super sick boot, uh, I would want to try these. I think they're, they're really nice, but I don't think they made a lot of these and can't seem to find it anywhere only in like smaller sizes but I, they did make some um, some bigger sizes as well then we got this uh, Ding Chun Chang hoodie the like uh, full body covered mask kind of thing going on with a really nice gray purple wash super sick fit as you know he worked for uh, Yeezy uh, and you can see that clearly but I think his pieces are like so dramatic and I feel like this piece is like more subtle and um, you can easily wear this like it's not that popping all right for my next it's the Salomon Margiela hiking boots it's the spring summer 2023 but I don't think these released actually but um, super sick like um, kind of discreet I like that they don't have the Salomon logo. I I don't like that as much on them, and I like the like they have um, they are more open in the back as well. I like that. I kind of, I kind of like it's just like a bonus, but I have these in leather, so I don't. I'm not gonna get these, but these are the strike boots in denim, like uh, washed denim. They're super sick as well. Then we got the Arcteryx Jill Sander jacket. I really love this collab they did. The only thing is the price was way too expensive, but this piece of thing is, is really fucking sick. Celine duck boots. These are great as well, but the same thing with the other Celine boots. I don't think they made my size, but these are iconic and super hard to get. As I said, some super unrealistic wishes. This is one of them. The Forgiato uh, Travis Scott rims. That would be super <laughs> sick to get. He actually sold this on his Travis Scott uh, website. That would be hard. Then we got the Chanel crossbody bag that little Yadi wore here. These are, they, this, is, this is a really sick bag. Um, I would want that one day. And yeah, that's it for the wishes.
We just need to ask with or without the brush inside. So direction is the same. But do you like this one? Yeah. Okay, we're doing a little unboxing. All right, so I got sent a package to Porto. All right, so this is, I hope, the Prada 1999 jacket. Damn. Yeah, that's fucking sick details with the leather straps. Very cool. Like kind of a um, puffer jacket in a way. Where did you get it? From uh, Vistia. Like at a really reasonable price. Like a cup for sure. I just love Prada from 1999. It's, it's the best year. But yeah, super sick. Super stoked. Gonna show this probably in a, in a future uh, pickup video. Okay, we found this beautiful spot. It's a, it's a garden, I think, of some sort, uh, to enjoy our delicious pastel di nada. How would you, how do you like this? No, um, sorry, Portugal. I love it. I feel like it's so underrated. Mm -hmm. You always talk about Spain. I feel like it's a, a bit of an overseen country yeah. in Europe. No one ever says like, um, I'm going to Portugal. I'm going to Portugal now. But here, I, I just feel like they're minding their own and living life. Which they have some great food as well. Really great uh, so, lunch. Yeah, we have some dinners, food. but it's okay. But lunch and mm. breakfast is like, it's, like yeah. it's up to you. But anyways, next up is actually Paris. So mm -hmm. see you there. Niggas mad. Them think they cool, niggas mad. Bad bitches more bad.